Take us away Leave the city behind We're on our way To find Blue the sky Hey everyone, welcome to Trail Sage and this week we're talking about the Continental De Barons. Now, prior to these tires, I had been rocking the Trail Kings for about six years or so, but as I got into more technical riding and aggressive downhilling, I began searching for a more beefier option. Now, I know bike tires are a sensitive subject for some folks, and hey, I totally get it. I'm fiercely loyal to my bike tires as well, which is why I tested these a full year before deciding to review them. Also, I'm not here to convince you to switch if you're happy with what you already have. However, if you're not satisfied with what you're currently riding or you're looking to upgrade to something a little bit more burlier, then try giving these DeBarons a shot. Now, before I get into all my likes, let's go over the specs. These DeBarons are 27.5 by 2.4 inches and weigh in at 948 grams. The corner lugs are 15 millimeters long by 10 millimeters in width and have a depth of 6.5 millimeters. The lugs in the center vary between 10 millimeters and 9 millimeters and have a depth of 4.5 millimeters. They come with Continental's Protection Apex, which is a densely woven layer of polyamide fiber that protects the sidewalls against slashes and also minimizes pinch flats at lower tire pressures. These tires are composed of three layers of 180 TPI or threads per inch, which keeps the weight down. And that casing is coated with their proprietary black chili compound, which reduces rolling resistance and increases grip and durability. And finally, these tires are also available in a 2.6 inch width for the 27.5s, and there's also 29er and 26 inch versions available too. All the tires are foldable and tubeless ready. So now that you know the specs, let's jump into what I like. The deeper lugs hold the corners better, and the center bead grips just about everything I throw at it. They're situated and spaced out in a way that allows the tire to seek deep into the soil for maximum traction, but also releases mud in wet conditions, avoiding any kind of packing or clogging of the tread. One of my favorite things is how well these tires hold their form. I always feel in control and there's no guessing work. The DeBarons always deliver on a high level on a consistent basis, and that's really important to me. I find the black chili compound to be the perfect mix between soft and long lasting. Obviously, as riders, we're looking for maximum grip, and that usually means a softer compound of rubber. Now, the drawback here is the softer the rubber, the quicker they wear down, causing you to replace the tires more often. Now, I've ridden everything from Schwabies to Kendas to Maxis, and for me, the Continentals have the compound dialed in just right. In fact, let's take a closer look at what my rear tire looks like after six months of heavy riding. If you compare the new one with the old one side by side, you can clearly see the center bead has been worn down, but the lugs still have sufficient life on them. The corner lugs have adequate traction, but again, the insides are starting to get chewed. This kind of wear is typical for me on a rear tire. If this was a front tire, you would see more wear to the outside of these corner lugs. The sidewalls are also holding up really well. Some of the lettering has been worn away, but the rubber hasn't been affected too much. In summary, after six months of abuse, these tires still have plenty of life to give. I can easily get another two to three months of riding out of them. Now, are there burlier tires out there? Of course. But I need a tire that's going to work for me all day on all terrains, not just downhill parks. And bigger and better doesn't always equal better. Burlier tires will have a larger weight penalty and will increase your rolling resistance, which makes climbing tedious. At 948 grams, these DeBarons are on the lighter side of most Enduro tires without losing any of the performance. They gobble up just about anything I throw at it and still make for a comfortable ride for long days in the saddle. I find they're just as capable in the slow speed tech sections as they are blasting down a rock garden. Okay, so what are the downsides? Well, I honestly don't have any. So instead, let's focus on who these tires are made for and what terrain they excel in. The website and packaging target Enduro riders and I think that's pretty spot on. If you're someone who enjoys technical sections, loamy trails, and blasting downhills, but also doesn't mind taking the single track climb back to the top, then this tire is going to be right down your aisle. I would also say if you consider yourself an all-mountain type of rider who goes out of their way to look for features, drops, and tech, this would be a good option for you as well. Right, so who is this tire not made for? Well, I would say if your passion is downhill and downhill only, then you'd probably be better served if you had a more burly or heavier tire, kind of like the DeKaiser or maybe the Minion DHR. At the other end of the spectrum, if you're primarily a cross-country rider who generally avoids rock gardens or big features, or if your rides consist of a lot of fire road or paved portions, then I would opt for something a little bit more lighter and probably with less rolling resistance, maybe the Trail Kings or the Ardents. So let's move on to terrain. 
These bad boys are right at home on those East Coast style rock gardens, small slab work, and loamy and rocky trails. It does well on flow lines with deep berms and jumps, but it really excels on those raw natural trails. I find the nastier and jankier it is, the better it does. They also perform well in all temperatures and conditions, wet or dry, with the exception of snow and ice. So where do they suffer? Well, for me, they struggle most in deep, loose gravel and sandy soil. This is where something with deeper lugs would make a huge difference. And while they do great on flow lines, if that's all you're hitting at the downhill park, then I would go with something a little less burlier to get the most out of your tires. And finally, if you primarily ride slick rock, I'm sure these tires would hold up fine, but I also think there are better options out there for you. Okay, so how much will the DeBaron set you back? I can usually find these online between $55 and $65, putting them right in line with most tires of this caliber and style. They last just about a season, making them a worthwhile investment, and if you know where to look or purchase at the right time, I'm sure there are deals to be had and you might even be able to get these tires even cheaper. So if you're in the market for a new tire, or you're just not happy with what you're currently riding, try giving these DeBarons a shot. I find them to be long-lasting, confidence-inspiring, dependable, and predictable, and all at a price that won't have you refinancing your house. For me, it's all about matching your terrain and style to your tires. This is why some tires work for some folks and others don't, even if they're riding the same exact trails. I think this is also why we're so loyal to our tires. When we find ones we like, we tend to stick with it. Well, these DeBarons are my new favorite and I'll be sticking with these for quite some time. So I'm curious, what are you currently riding and why? Well, that does it for this review. I hope that was helpful to you. If you have any questions or feedback, leave them in the comments below. And if you like the video and you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching. That felt so much better.